okay so now about the how we're gonna do the gratitude challenge uh there's gonna be lots of activities we're doing but i want you all to follow two simple rules we're gonna make it very very simple okay uh we're gonna start with stating something we're grateful for every day so i'm grateful for the food on my plate i'm grateful for my husband making dinner for me today i'm grateful for it could be really anything small or big that has meaning to you now this is an activity a lot of you would have heard for, about you do gratitude diaries etc we're going to start with something very simple they're not going to be new out of the world concepts but they're going to be something that we're going to do together okay and uh there are going to be two simple rules we want to follow. Now, we want to write, maybe say, let's start with three things we're grateful for each day. Okay? Let's aim for three. You can go more, you can go less, but let's aim for three. I would say minimum three things that we're grateful for each day. You can have them across health, happiness, this, that, anything at all. Uh, if three is too much, start with at least one thing that you're grateful for each day. Now, the only rule with that, the two rules we're going to do with that are that A, let them be different every day. Do not repeat. Do not repeat yourself for at least the 21 days that are to follow. What that does is it actually makes your mind think of, okay, what else am I grateful for? Otherwise, we have the, you know, anytime that you're asked about, oh, what do you want? Or oh, what sort of a life would you want? We have what sort of a partner would you want? We have our normal answers. Oh, somebody that's loving, caring, understanding, that makes me happy. But we've never really delved into what those emotions mean to us or how those demonstrate to us in our lives. Which is why we're going to actually put into action the two rules for the this challenge that we're doing. For anything that, for any of the concepts that we do, these two rules, we would like to keep standard. One is let the points be different, as different as you can think of. I'm sure if you go for one thing a day, you can think of 21 things at least to be grateful for. And the second rule that we're going to put into place is make it specific. Now making some, making what you're grateful for specific. So I don't mind if you don't put three things, put one thing every day. But make it really specific. So don't say I'm grateful for family. So say I feel grateful for my family because today... My mom really checked up on me when nobody else even knew that I was upset. Today, I'm grateful for my dad because he spoke to me and that is something that just assured me that I am taken care of always by him. I'm always uh, looked after. Make it as specific as you can. Now, when you make something specific, it automatically points, uh, brings about a point of difference, right? So I could be grateful for my family all the 21 days. But when I'm thinking of a specific event, my mind is going there. What it also does is it delves me into that energy of that incident. As I'm typing it out, as I'm putting it forward, I'm thinking about that. I am giving it thought. I'm giving it energy. We tend to give our negative thoughts a lot of energy when we're talking about it. So we don't just say, uh, oh, I'm upset about the house. You will generally give a point about, oh, I'm upset about the house because this isn't working. And I actually had called the plumber and this was supposed to happen, but it didn't happen. Now I'm stuck in this situation. We actually give a whole story. We narrate something when something negative generally happens. We give it a lot of energy. The universe works on the simple concept of giving you whatever you want. And when we tend to talk more negative than actually what we want, it tends to give us more of that because there's more energy placed in that. So now we want to actually generate that energy towards something positive. So think about when you're actually narrating a positive story, what that does to you. That actually has your mind thinking about it and actually gets you to a point of feeling happy again, feeling gratitude from within. Gratitude is not just simply saying or typing thank you for the sake of it. We want to truly begin to feel it so that we can feel the positive ripple effect that it has. So two things. Be specific. Write as much detail as you can. Name people or don't see whatever you feel comfortable with. This is a no judgment zone. Anyone that wishes to judge people that's going to actually carry forward these conversations, I urge you to get out of the group now itself. Because this is a no judgment zone, a safe place that we want to create for everyone on here. 
whether you know another person on the group or not you go with forward with the goal that i want to make this lifestyle shift and the minute you're set with that goal that will happen for you even the things that feel a little vulnerable to share you will just see that that opens up doors for you because that's your intent that you want to benefit out of this you want to feel grateful you want to make this a part of your lifestyle to feel gratitude and positivity as the first go to emotion that comes to you so set that intention to begin with and let's start with at least one point of gratitude recommended three that something that you feel grateful for each day make it specific and make it different each day okay so we're going to start that starting today put on the thing i if you feel something is very very personal you're free to send it to me on private chat but i would recommend you put it on the group because when you're going to it's something you're thankful for and when you're going to put that energy out in the universe when you're going to release any fears related to it and tomorrow i'm going to do some downloads for you for that so that any vulnerability etc that comes up can get out of the way and we can feel great about it the minute you're going to put it out there you're going to see that you have the courage to put it out there that i have this and the minute that you've done that you've really taken ownership of that incident ownership of that positive thing and when we take ownership it tends to stay so put it out there share on the group at least one thing that you're thankful for make it as specific as you like don't care if it's long and nobody reads it it's for you to benefit out of it different and specific let's get started with that one point i'm going to put my point and i look forward to yours and tomorrow i'm going to send you some amazing downloads to help you with the same but before that i want everyone to put that on there and you can put day one done under that if you feel like it as well but put on that one point at least you're free to do as many as you like that you're grateful for something you're grateful today i feel grateful about write what you feel grateful about on the group be specific make it detailed and make it amazing have a wonderful day you guys and i'm going to start with this i'm very very thankful for all of you for joining me on this challenge for nudging me to do a challenge where i'm actually recording videos or um getting out of my comfort zone and doing a whatsapp challenge for the first time so i hope that it does something good for all of us on here and it tends to put that positive energy forward and can benefit everyone personally and professionally and i'm very 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 thankful to each and every one of you for believing in it and coming on yeah thank you guys